Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some of the home updates that we have been doing over the summer. So if you've been following along, you'll know that my husband is a teacher. I also work in education, but I don't have the summer holidays off. He has the six weeks, I just had two weeks, and in my two weeks off, we had the most amazing holiday. Um, we went to stay in Hailing Island, and I did share a vlog about it, and we had the most amazing time. But during the summer, we've also been picking away at projects and my husband has been absolutely amazing. So usually, it sounds awful, but like every summer, we have a project to do. We decide on something that we want to do. So a couple of years ago, we did the patio. We rebuilt um, our patio. So there was a deck before that had gotten all rotten and we replaced that with a patio. Now that was a huge job, but I, I must say, I, I love it. I still love it. It looks amazing and it was well worth the hard work. And then last year, we put in a workshop, a large workshop at the bottom of the garden. Again, that was our summer project, although we started in around Easter to clear the site so that we could have the workshop put up. And again, I love it. I would probably live in there if I could because I just love being out there doing my woodwork. I'm, I'm completely in my element. So this year, I decided to give him a much smaller project. Well, obviously we were doing it together and that was to paint the exterior of the house. So earlier in the year, we had some scaffolding put up because we had a bit of a, a roof issue um, at the front. And so whilst that was up, I spoke to the scaffolding company about making sure that we could use the platform to also paint the house so all of that was accessible the window was accessible so I was able to go up there paint the walls clean up the window repaint the window in places and I did use um, a PVC paint for that so that I could just get that all looking really nice and tidy so I was really pleased with that then we had a little bit of a break and during the summer holidays that's when we got on with painting the rest of the house. So we had a scaffolding tower that was put up in front of the house and my husband literally picked away at painting all of the exterior. I also helped and I was painting the window and so on, the windows and also the, the bits that I could reach without needing to go on the scaffolding tower. And we just worked together at doing the exterior of the house. And we, I had this lady come by whilst I was out there painting and she was just asking me about um, what we were doing. And um, she had had a quote for a 4,000 pounds to have a similar, well it was a smaller house, painted so we we knew that we were obviously doing this on a budget and doing it ourselves and that it would be time consuming but it has really been worth it because it's given the house such a really beautiful facelift I love the color of it now so previously it was like this kind of yellowy orangey color now it's a beautiful off-white a kind of cool white that I really really love and I'm really pleased with it. The other thing that I've done in the last few weeks is I repainted the front door. Now, I did a video about this, I think I did it last year, where I repainted the door in a Dulux Gallant Grey colour, and it, it was completely fine, but I knew even whilst I was painting it that the colour wasn't quite what I wanted and then I've come across these French chic paints. Now I've done a video about my built-in desk behind me and I use French chic paints and I absolutely love them so I bought the French chic al fresco paint in smudge for the front door and again completely in love with this paint. It's absolutely amazing, love it. Goes on really, really smoothly. You can't see paint marks. So I did very much the same process, but I just gave it a very light sand. I taped off the glass areas and the letterbox, etc. And I just repainted it. And now I really 
love the door. It's exactly what I wanted and I kind of wish that I'd done it that colour to begin with. So not wanting to waste the Gallant Grey paint, the previous paint that I'd used on the front door, I did use it to then paint the side door that comes out of our garage into the garden. It's a very simple wooden door which you, you can't really see, I mean because we've obviously got a fence up in front of it, but I can see it and I knew it was tatty. So I decided to give that door a really good makeover, I filled it where I needed to, I um, sanded it down really really well and I've given it two coats and in some parts three coats actually I put three coats on the step to make sure that it's got a really really good waterproof sort of covering particularly for this winter and I really love it. The other thing that I've been doing is working on the outside lights so in the front we had a silver light and there's nothing wrong with it. I can't say that I love it. The, the style isn't probably quite what I want. I'd prefer something more traditional, but at the moment it's not something that I feel is a priority to replace. Now the other thing that I wanted to do was I didn't want to have to call an electrician to, um, you know, to uh, take the wires out and all of that so that I could get the light down. So what I decided to do was turn the electric off and then tape all around the light. And I actually put some wallpaper up uh, onto the wall and taped that onto the wall. And then I took the um, inside, the plastic out, cleaned it all, and then I spray painted it in situ. It wasn't something that I kind of planned, but when I started, I thought, yeah, this, you know, this could work. I thought the electric's off, so there's no sort of moisture getting in there. It was actually very hot at the time as well when I did it, so it dried really quickly. Spray painted it, cleaned the plastic inside, cleaned all round, new bulb, and put it back together again. And I think, to be honest, I had the spray paint, so it didn't cost me anything. But I think the light, hopefully, it might keep going for a little bit longer. So one of the jobs that I want to do is to do a similar thing with the light on the side of the house. It isn't as bad, so I might just get away with a light spraying. And then the ones on the back of the house, they've got some they look like rusted and I think if I go over those, give them a good scrub with some wire wool and spray paint them, then again, I'll be able to keep those going for a bit longer too. So one of the jobs that I've been doing that I really enjoyed actually, was I had these little tables that I got from eBay. I think, this is going back, I think I've had them many, many years and they were just white, a little bit tatty. I think they were supposed to be shabby chic but they just look knocked up. So I spent some time just putting them back together again, screwing them in tightly, and then I gave them a really lovely coat of, again, it was the French Chic Cool Beans, the same paint colour as I've used on the built-ins. And I really, really love them now, and I hope that we'll be using them for years to come. They're just a lovely traditional shape, and now I really love the colour. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these updates that we have been doing to our home. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. And I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.